do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We got a really quick PS2 related tutorial today. And what we're gonna do is show you how to create your own self-bootable free DVD boot ESR game that will load on your PS2 Slim or maybe a FAT that is already compatible with free DVD boot. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at my video I made a couple weeks ago that basically shows the free DVD boot method. Basically it's a disc that you can burn to DVD plus R or minus R. If it works on your PS2 console, it goes into you launch elf and then from there you can run any homebrew program but there are a lot of gamers out there that says hey how do i create a self bootable game so i insert the game it just boosts the game and i'm good to go so what we're going to do today is if you go into the video description there's a link to where we can go and see the free dvd boot esr patcher gui by jabu it's an awesome program it's located at ps2 home so go ahead download the latest version and here it is on my desktop. And for today's example, I'm using a Tekken 5 game. I have an ISO. You can rip it from your own disk using like Image Burn or DVD Decryptor or whatever method you want to use for your ISO. And then here we have the program. So I'm going to right click the program here. I'm going to say extract it to its own folder. And then what I'm going to do is go into the folder itself and then right click and run the program as administrator just in case. Okay, cool. So when you have this program here, there's only one payload. So select the payload. And then for the ISO, you can go ahead and drag and drop the ISO onto the program. Or we can select the select button, navigate to your desktop, and click on your ISO game. Okay. Give it a while for it to load. And once it has fully loaded, you'll have the file name here. Go ahead and click the patch button. And we are, here we see that it says it is patched successfully. Awesome. So in this case, now go ahead and burn the game. So how do you burn the game? So in my case, I use a program called Image Burn, and I'm ready to burn the game, but I'm gonna use a blank DVD plus RW disk here just for demonstration purposes. So you go to write image file to disk, click on this magnifying glass with a folder, navigate to your desktop, select the game in question. On the right hand side here, go ahead and select whatever speed you wanna burn at. In my case, I like to burn like at the middle speed, like 4X. I did a test where I burnt at 8X, which was the max speed of my disc, and it worked out okay. So your mileage may vary, do what you wanna do, and I'm gonna select 4X, which is about the middle of the road here, depending on the disc in question. Go ahead, click on this button here, write, and if you want, you can say verify, eject the, eject the disc. So once it's completed, you can plug it back in, push the tray back in, verify your disc is good, and then hopefully it'll work on your PS2. So just to caution, if your PS2 Slim or maybe a FAT works with free DVD boot already, then this self-booting disc method is very promising. If you have issues right now with free DVD boot, then there's a very good chance that this method may or may not work. Once again, your mileage may vary. It may also depend on the quality of your laser and on the quality of your disc that you're using for burning, right? So this is gonna take a while. Once this has fully completed burning the disc, then just go ahead, take the disc out, put it on your PS2 console, and hopefully it works. So with that said, let's jump into the next portion of the video tutorial showcasing Tekken 5 self auto boot. It's awesome, let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So here I have Tekken 5. This is the soft boot disc I already inserted in my PS2. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and close the tray here, and then we'll get started with the rest of this video proof. So I go back to the PS2, or back to my TV actually, and we see we're at the browser screen. So let's go ahead and it automatically self boot the game. Um, I do have a mod chip. I did disable the mod chip to make sure that the mod chip is not booting the game. So if you have a mod chip, um, you can disable it or you can just leave it enabled. Regardless, if you have a vanilla PS2, then it's gonna boot the game. And here we see that it's working. Excellent. So now I'm just gonna show some quick gameplay footage of the game working. So the quick note here is this assumes that your PS2 Slam or maybe a FAT if it's compatible with free DVD boot that it can boot the actual free DVD boot disc program. If it can, then I don't expect any issues if you try to make your own self bootable game as an example. And if your PS2 um, does not boot free DVD boot, 
then maybe the game that you burn, it may not boot either. So don't be surprised if it doesn't work as an example. All right, so that's today's video game tutorial for the PS2. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.